welcome to another episode of Model Car Memories. I uh, see I had to overdub this because I had some audio issues, but uh, in this episode I'm going through uh, an old train. It's a 1947 uh, Marlins train or Marlins train. Uh, it hasn't worked in quite a while. Um, still got the original box here for it, uh, as you can see, uh, made by Lewis and Marks and Company. Uh, New York office there and then uh, as I pan around to the side there you can see where it says uh, steam line electric train Marlines got the logo there and then on the side of it there it actually has the the price tag on it there written four dollars and or fourteen dollars and ninety four cents ninety six cents ninety nine cents something like that um, and then the number twenty five two thirty four you can look that up a lot of people are selling them on eBay, different various different prices. Um, but uh, got the train there. Um, gonna have to take it apart, figure out what's wrong with it. Um, it wants to move a little bit. I've got the original transformer. The transformer uh, it works. I tested it out. Uh, it puts out about 13 volts AC on it. There, it's got two uh, things on the side. One's for your track accessories. Uh, there on the right hand side is the track accessories and the other is for the the track which it says 7 to 13 volts on it uh, for the track. The accessories is a constant output on it there. Then you have a little reset place for overload protection on it. But uh, this train has got quite a bit of weight to it. Uh, looks like it's got two screws on the side there that kind of hold it in place. Uh, there's another screw on the side. Um, didn't know what that was for right off the bat. Um, the motor part, it does turn, so it's not locked up. Um, so it just didn't want to, when you put voltage to it, it just doesn't want to turn there. So I was going to get the Dremel tool, um, polish the wheels up with the Dremel tool, uh, take everything apart, make sure all the connections are good in it, uh, make sure nothing's wrong with it, clean it up a little bit, put a couple drops of 3 one oil on it, and see if I can get it running. Uh, probably the ultimate goal on this is take it to the local train shop, put it on consignment, because I've already got a Lionel train. Uh, if you go back and look at the video on that, uh, that was like a 1950s Lionel that I cleaned up. Um, so and now I've got it disassembled. Uh, did discover um, it's just got two notches there on the, if you see on the right hand side, and that kind of slips up in there. And holds on to the notches and then on the left hand side there's the two screws to it and then a uh, place for a light bulb um, that's the bottom the center pickup there so i have to clean that there's a little spring underneath it that holds it in place uh let me just you know testing the wheels again it does there's nothing obstructing it uh nothing was bent up keeping it uh to keep it from turning or anything like that um this is prior to me getting the Dremel tool and polishing some of the years of corrosion and buildup that are on the wheels. I was probably causing it to not get a good electrical connection to it. And then you see the motor in there turning a little bit in armature. Uh, it's not in that bad of a uh, condition. Uh, the light bulb, I'm going to have to look for one of those. Um, don't think I have one around the house. Uh, I think my plan is just take that part there and go to the local mom and pops hardware store and say, I need a light bulb for this. And they will probably have it. You know, um, they've had light bulbs for other old flashlights I've done. So, so here it is uh, taken apart. Uh, the bottom part there, the wire came off of it. So I had to pull my old solder iron out, uh, solder that back in place. That little plate right there, it holds the, the brushes for it. So I pulled that out cleaned the brushes up a little bit, uh, cleaned the contacts there on the motor armature part, used the Dremel tool in that. So I've got the uh, transformer, crank up the power on it, uh, use the test leads, and it takes a while to get started. We got motion. That's a whole lot better than what it did starting out. It wouldn't even move. Uh, try that one. It takes a while to get started. I really didn't polish those wheels. Uh, it looked like most of the stuff was on the other wheel so but it got it running um looks like it'll be uh, ready for a good sale if i get the light 
changed on that. Uh, the next part would be to clean uh, the cab of it there, uh, just to get it cleaned up a little bit. Probably just some, just a brush, and then use uh, soapy water, um, clean that up, and then put it all back together. Uh, there it is, the final product, everything put back together. Um, this isn't an engine where the top smokes on it, I don't think. Um, I have to research that maybe a little more, but uh, there's just a little well in there. Um, but like I said, but uh, I'd still, you know, find a light bulb for it there. But uh, the other cars, I'll clean them up as well. Um, probably won't do a video on that because they're just five or six other cars but uh but thank you for watching this uh, i'm gonna put some detailed photos on the inst uh, on the instagram page and then uh but uh thanks for watching make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to it and uh i'll come back next time with a an actual car video this time since i got one that i need to uh, put back together that little uh corvair buggy um that i found from the previous video all right thanks a lot